Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Can you see me? Can you see me? Well, <laughs> can you see me? Can you see me? All right. Woo! Welcome, 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 welcome back. Um, I am so dark and the light is right on me. You guys just don't understand. The light is right on me. It's not even <laughs> it's on me. So, <laughs> welcome back to our channel today. Um, I just had to try it, guys. I keep seeing everybody do the hot Cheeto on the crab. So guess what? I had to do hot Cheeto on the crab. Not just one, not just two, <laughs> but my baby has one and Lauren tore hers up. So it must have been good. It's the only thing she ate. Believe it or not, she took all the crust off. Oh, <laughs> she took the crust off. Yeah. She, that's why she was like, I see white. And then she started, okay. <laughs> so welcome guys. Let's get into it right after this short prayer. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for protecting us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us along the way. Um, just continue to keep blessing us and protecting us and protecting our family and friends. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. I missed this so much. I am so tired of watching people eat this, and I didn't get to eat it. So here's first bite. They always go in the cheese sauce, right? Yeah. That looks hot. <laughs> it is hot, isn't it? I'm going to just eat some mac and cheese for now. Mm. Mm -mm. You got to try that. No, I didn't fry it long. See, my wife keeps ordering seafood. I hate seafood. Order steak. Order, I don't know, stuffed mushrooms. Stop ordering seafood. Although, she likes it, so whatever. Mm. I'm not a big fan. I'm seafood out already. Mm. Oh. So besides the king crab and hot Cheeto, <laughs> nobody saw that. Picture. You don't like it? Not even a little bit. So you want the regular crab? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, we have the hot Cheeto crabs. Um, we have regular king crab. We have lobster tails, potatoes, corn, lime, lemon, and egg. And mac and cheese. Oh, this beautiful mac and cheese. The Vita style. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Two thumbs up. Check. Thank you. I try. Fun fact, um, my aunt was passed away January 16th, and my wife and my cousins were taking care of her. I helped a little bit, and um, my finger's been swollen since, <laughs> since January. I was helping, I think, roll her over when you guys were changing her one time, and um, yeah, so that hasn't been right. She just tried to open a soda with it. Yeah, I keep using it because, you know, just like right now, it's cutting an egg and I can't see myself at all. I want to cry. Because I have a big old light in front of me that isn't even shining on me. On me, right. So I dragged my wife to more seafood, as you guys heard her say. But I love the seafood so much. It's my favorite seafood in the whole world. And it's my least favorite thing in the whole wild world. I can't stand it. Except for tuna fish. See, if I do a mukbang with steak, I'm going to cook it medium rare. And you're going to be like, uh-uh, burn mine. 
And I'll still eat it with you. Oh. <clears throat> oh, Scott burned mine a little bit. Do have steak up there. Dip that steak in some cheese sauce, y'all. Mm. Oh, that sounds so good. See, I'm like a real meat eater. Give me some steak. Give me some chicken. Mm. I only do ribs if it's beef short ribs. I know it's a little different, but... Mm. You want this? Mm. I'll take a piece. Did I say we had corn? We do. So I just eat it like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dip it in the sauce. Oh yeah, I'm dipping it in sauce. <laughs> the crab is actually good. It has a sweet taste to it. Do you taste it? It tastes like crab. <laughs> Not all crabs are equal, babe. They all taste like crab to me. Actually, this one tastes kind of salty. corn here. Huh? This one tastes kind of salty. Corn husk. I tell you the crab tastes salty, you say corn hairs. <laughs> and it has. Mm. I didn't put extra onions and extra garlic. Am I the only one who gets crab stuck in their teeth? Mm -mm. It's like a thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I have corn stuck there now, so. I was right with you. I don't even want to smile. There's like a huge chunk of crab, like right there. Oh, I feel you. I feel something in my teeth mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> Look, wait, I'm going to hide it. You want to see it? <laughs> also, <here. laughs> too funny. So I'm going to keep my mouth closed. <laughs> By the way, there are nothing but sparkles all over my living room floor, and I'm so mad. Sparkles? Sparkles, just all over the floor. Where are they coming from? Somebody's oh. fairy wings. Yeah, I forgot. And my lovely self. And my wife gets to pick up sparkles now. Yep. Thank you, gift giver. <laughs> Not... <laughs> So I'm sitting here staring at these. Oh my goodness, wait, the piece of crab finally came out. Look, high five. Hey! <laughs> I can smile now. I always forget the lemon. Like, how do you? Mm. Hey, you're squeezing a little much over there. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. But I cannot get down with y'all and Cheeto crusted crabs. I can't. She's not a big fan, guys. Well, then. Okay. It's different. Teach me now. Is I this like meat it. too? Mm hmm. How do I All do that it? meat. How do I do it? Put your finger in there and scoop it out. <laughs> yes, girl. Mmm. Y'all understand, I don't know nothing about this. I didn't even fry it that long either. Did you taste your lobster yet? I didn't. I've been working on this giant piece of crab. It's so big. I don't know if I did that right, but we shall see. Is this meat too? Yes. You know, I'm a little... I don't know nothing about it. A little, uh... What? We got a better microphone. Oh. So we got a Yeti. A blue Yeti? Mm-hmm. Blackout edition, so... Mm. I forgot about this thing. Mm. So when they sent the Yeti... They forgot to send me the cord that's supposed to come in the box. And it says right on the box, USB, USB cord included. included. 
And it wasn't included. So I can't use my Bluey Daddy yet. Which, if anybody knows me up here, very well they'll know that. I started an ASMR channel. And that microphone is everything. For stuff like that. Matter of fact, today we're supposed to be wearing our new lavalier microphones. Oh my goodness, I forgot the lavaliers. <laughs> forgot all about it. So I guess we'll have to see that sound another day. FYI, I had no clue what a lavalier was when she said it. And I I didn't even tell her either. I was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. She said it like <laughs> ten times. So I had no clue what she was talking about. I had no clue. Nope. And then I Googled it. Surprise! Because right now we're using a shotgun mic. Oh. Yeah, a shotgun. It's actually attached to the camera on top of it right now. I like the mic, but you just have to speak up. You can't really get low. And because it's attached to the camera as opposed to, you know, like closer to you. And I speak low. So. Oh, yeah. She needs a lavalier. I need a lavalier or a Blue Yeti to be in my face so I can talk and <laughs> we even got the boomstick for it. I cannot wait. We're going to have like this little studio set up. I wish I could turn the camera right now to show you where the studio is going to be. And I'm so excited because I haven't seen a boomstick since I set, set foot in a radio station. Because my wife is a DJ. I used to be. I'm a little retired right now. I'm on hiatus. Once a DJ, always a DJ. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I miss it. I do. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait. Because she gave me a little preview of what she was doing. <laughs> and I was playing a video. Wait, I was playing basketball in BA2K. Yep. And I was getting down like, hey. I didn't even listen to the music no more that they were playing. Because, you know, they play good music on, on those video games. They do. But you were doing it. Thank you. I put a little snippet on you on Snapchat. So... So this is why I told you. She about to eat all this by herself. I can't eat that much. I'm almost out. I'm about to try my uh, my beautiful lobster tail that the missus gave me. I almost dropped it in your sauce bag. Mm. She made me seem so greedy. Oh, she's about to get all that. I am. Mm. Mm. You try your lobster tail and tell me what you think. You tried it already? Yeah, I liked it. Oh, okay. It was nice and tender. You? You don't like lobster? It's mushy. Like it's been frozen and then unthawed. Because it was? It was. <laughs> so, they just shipped it us. We just got the shipment today. We just got the shipment today. So, if you guys don't know me yet, One I'm I'm all about texture. Mm -hmm. And I it, it could taste amazing, but if the texture is not right, I'm good. So, I'm a little weird. And so, it, it might be mushy to me, but she's the lobster expert. So, if you like it, I love it. No, yours looked a little mushy. Oh, They're well, thanks. <laughs> I thought it was just. There you go. You got it. I thought it was just tender. And that's because of the frozen factor. Mm. So the place that we ordered from. I'm not even gonna shout you out. That is not nice. I shot it out. Don't do it. Matter of fact. Nah, I, I bet not. Y'all can't see another words on this thing, huh? Mm -mm. It's local, by the way. The one that we ordered from this time. Yes. It, we are from Connecticut, so what's that? Um... Why not get Maine Lobsters? Right. From Maine. We're not but that This far. Maine company, which is a bigger company, I'm, they're going to hear my mouth. I'm going to turn middle-aged white woman on them. PC, honey. Be PC. What's that? Politically correct. Exactly. No, saying white woman crazy is not nice. Is that can't PC? be Karen? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I would no, say some. Mm -mm. Don't I don't I can't turn black woman on them. They're gonna hang up the phone. And be yeah. like, mm -mm. but if I said that on camera that I was gonna turn 
I don't know, Tibetan on them. No, you wouldn't say that, though. We'll say black. You scared? <laughs> <laughs> She's scared to say black. <laughs> That's why she went all the way to Tibetan. <laughs> no Jamaican. No Trinidadian. No. She went straight to. Okay. I'm not scared, you know. I was raised, I was like, the only, I was the only black girl in my school. I didn't say you were wrong, I said BPC, that's all. I thought I was white growing up. And then what I you got, mean thought? I thought, shut up. I used to be scared of black people, guys. Fun, fun fact. 17 minutes in, I hope people are still watching. Because I used to scream when I seen black people. I was like three or four. Mm -hmm. Aunts used to come over, I used to scream at them. I've never had a, an ethnic bias against a certain culture, but I should have from what I grew up in, unfortunately. I should have had, I should have been biased, but I wasn't, thank goodness. Because, um, not for nothing. My family is not, I'm going to say all my family. There are certain people in my family that just don't like other cultures. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. And if you're watching, we ain't talking about you. We are not talking about you. Because <laughs> you probably wouldn't watch this. Exactly. <laughs> mm. um, I do want to just say one thing. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, my dad's first cousin passed away a couple weeks ago. So I just want to... Uh, we're going to miss you. We love you, Tommy. Um, Tommy. Rest in peace. My cousin, she's like 24. Um, my heart goes out to her. Only child. Um, you know, it was his only child. That was it. So, um, I was about to say her name. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if she wants me to say it. She's really private. Um, um, our condolences. Definitely. And we love you. Yeah. And shout out to the family. I know everybody's really upset about it. Even though you haven't met me yet, but I love you, cuz. You will. In law. She's awesome. And you're awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Lauren is playing really loud upstairs, and I think I should play. I'm out anyway, cuz I I knew she was so gonna leave me. Done. I knew it. And that's why I was starting to slow down eating because I was like, she's gonna, she's eating pretty fast and she's going to leave me. Yes, I'm okay. And it's not my fault. I've always been a fast eater. Not fast. I'm a fast eater, okay? <laughs> but that's it. I shove all this food in my mouth, swallow it down, and I'm out. That's what she said. <laughs> all right. So, quick question. We can do questions. Quick right answer. <laughs> what is your favorite non... Wait. What is a movie that scared you that was a non-horror movie? You're gonna laugh. Trolls in Central Park. That was not horror? It's a kid's movie. It's I mean, a you hear trolls. It's a cartoon about a loving troll with a green thumb that has to save, I think it's Central Park or some park, and he gets into all this trouble. There's like goblins that pop out of nowhere on this troll. Mm -hmm. Yes, Teddy Ruxpin also is another thing. You remember Teddy Ruxpin? I remember Teddy. I, I used to have one. I'm not terrified of Teddy Ruxpin. I'm terrified of the things he endured. Like all the adventures. I was a scared kid, okay? I'm trying to think of what... Uh, I'm the one that asked the question. Dolls. Anything with dolls in it. Even if it's a nice talking doll, not for it. A non-horror movie that scared me. I should have been ready. I was, I was ready to ask her the question. I wasn't ready to answer it myself. <laughs> Roots. Right? That was the first movie that ever scared me. I don't know. Is I was like two or three watching Roots, guys. Kunta, your name is Toby. You're in Kunta. Like, a kid watching. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? And then living in an all-white town. Huh? <laughs> I thought they were going to beat me. My name is Karita. Karita. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I know I'm going to get backlash for this. Mm-hmm. I have never seen Roots in its entirety. Oh. Well, it's like, it's a whole series. Yeah. It's it's long. I've only seen the first half. Alex, uh, yeah. Alex was right in that book. Towards the end, too. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen part of the second half. Um, but um, I have not seen it in its entirety. That's like the Book of Negroes. What was it now? The book? The new one they came out with recently. It's about who signed the book when they came to America. Oh, I don't know that one. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Because I book don't. Book of Negroes. Book. The book. Is it called The Book? I know about The Green oh. Book. That's it. Yes, we watched The Green Book. Oh yes. my goodness. It was a really good movie. You guys gotta see it. And it's actually, it's a true movie. I don't know if you guys remember about Green Books. The Kelly Blue Book is actually based off The Green Book. The Green Book, just go see it. It's too long to explain. Oh my goodness. I am literally about to like put my arms up and just fall out. I am so full. I, yes, hush. And I am still looking around to see what else I can eat. Shut up. Mm, I kind of want to cry. Why am I full? Because I cooked. <laughs> Probably. I Don't you guys like not like that? Like, you cook, and then you're like, hmm, I'm about to tear this up. And then it takes, like, maybe 20 minutes too long. And then you're looking like me, looking at food. Like, Do you know what I think? I think my issue was, is, I snapped all day. Oh, uh, I haven't taken my medicine all day. Because of my asthma. That's why I'm not hungry. And see me, I've been snacking. Word to the wise, if you're going to do a mukbang, don't eat like a pig all day, like I did. Yeah. And, and then try to come here and eat dinner. Ain't going to work. Because it's not. You should be proud of me, though. I had a lobster tail you ain't and more than a crab leg. What are you talking about? <laughs> you ate more than I did. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. I think it's because I cooked. And then I had to set up all this stuff. And I know. The green screen wasn't so right. Because she's a perfectionist. So change the green screen. Had to change it. And then still, I don't have enough lights on me right now. I don't think so. Because the green screen should be lit up more. But we'll see when we go to edit this video. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like there's not enough good lighting in our house. We have like that nice, somber, soft light. Mm. We need like bright light. Yeah. Because y'all, I'm dark. I need light. And it's on the highest it goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you can you see me? She dark. Can y'all even see my face and my expressions, huh? <laughs> Cause I can't see me because the light is so into my face. But yeah, I feel like I'm only seeing a dark piece, right? Mm-hmm. You have your glasses on. Uh, don't put your foot on my side, baby. I'm long. This is my side. I'm long. No, you go forward. You don't go but left. But you had your leg crossed on. <laughs> nope. I can see you. A little bit. A little bit. So I'm just going to be a little dark this video. I'll get that fixed real soon. That's because we only have one light on us. This corn is really good. Yeah, it is. Sweet corn. Mm. It didn't taste like this last time. No. You know why? I overboiled it last time. Oh, not even that. I mean, like, in general, the last few months, we've been getting frozen corn because we've had a hard time finding regular corn because, of, obviously, it's not in season. Mm-hmm. And the corona. And the corona. But it's just not the same. It doesn't taste like yeah, no, fresh food. corn. It's amazing. Food isn't the same anymore, guys. Mm. It's just not. <sighs> so, we're just going to take a nap. I was going to say, I'm really ready I'm going to take a nap. nap. <laughs> What time is it? It's almost time to make some noise. You know, 8 p.m. You gotta make the noise for first responders and everything. All the essential workers. We appreciate you. And I am so glad that you guys are gonna start getting extra pay May 1st. That is awesome, dude. You guys deserve it. Thank you. For taking we really care appreciate of our elderly it, yeah. and everything. Thank you. Thank you for the McDonald's worker, even though we don't go to fast food restaurants anymore. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you for the Dunkin' Donuts worker. Thank you for... Because when I went to McDonald's, the Uber guy. let me tell you, the one time I went to McDonald's during the COVID, well, after it got really bad. UPS, Amazon, FedEx, Thank USPS. You. Thank you. All of y'all. 
I'm telling you. So the guy at the front window, I don't know what he was doing. The first window where you drive up and you pay money. No clue what he was doing. He never even showed up. So I was like, do, 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 do. I would just roll up to the second window. He was like, you didn't pay? I was like, he's not there. Let me tell you, this man had gloves on, a mask on, a shield on. And this is before he even got bad. And he sprayed stuff down. He made sure that when he took my card and gave it back, he hand sanitized his own hands. I hand sanitized my own hands. We was in sync. It was beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate people who actually are looking out for others by taking, taking themselves serious. Safe. Yes. People think this thing is a joke. Oh, because not enough people are taking it serious. And it's really, really bothersome. And it wasn't hitting the African American community at first. So I wasn't too, too worried about myself. And I was like, oh, they're not going to get it. But then when it really started hitting us and stuff, I'm like, every day I check my fever, guys. I swallowed a bone and some boneless chicken and hurt my throat <clears throat> about, what, five days ago, six days ago? Yeah, about. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been a few days. And I still think I have corona because <laughs> that bone. And then I have asthma, so it's like sometimes it's hard for me to breathe because it's allergy season. Oh my gosh. So allergy season is ridiculous. Every time my allergies act up and my asthma act up, I'm like, I have the Rona. Every time she Feel goes, me. <laughs> she's like, do I have a fever? Am I hot? Because I don't want to die. You're okay. Yeah. I want to die when I'm old. I don't want to die from no virus that is just, nobody wants to die like that. No. And if you don't, and if you value your life and value others, I'm not saying stay, stay home. Breathe. <laughs> I'm not telling you to be excessive. Go to work and go back home. Take care of yourself. And listen to what the CDC is saying. Stop having all these parties. I'm not just talking to somebody that I know because I know they're having a party today. Oh but. my God, I'm so sick and tired of people having parties. And I don't care what she says. Back up. Go home. Stop. Because you're just putting everybody else at risk, and that's just being selfish. Yeah. Stop being selfish. Take your butts home. But I'll turn up with you when this all clears up, like, eh, July, August. I may not. I'll turn up with you for Lauren's birthday party for your birthday party. Eh, I may not. Oh, Lauren's birthday. Yeah, we may not. Not if the corona not done by oh, now. Oh, yeah, true I'm, that. I'm so, listen, at the end of the day, I'm going to keep my family safe. That's it. Because we want to live. Yep. I'm not 30 yet. I still got a few more years to go. Nothing in this world can make me feel the way that you do. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, thanks for joining us for another little mukbang. <laughs> and stay safe. I didn't eat that much. She didn't. It wasn't worth it. But what, I helped out. What happened was... <laughs> I'll eat more tomorrow. Later. It's just... I shouldn't have cooked. But how was it going? What? I just have to Did you just go like this? <laughs> no, I didn't, baby. I sometimes when you. I cook, I don't... I'm, like, not hungry anymore. I know, because it just... I am so tired of that. It's like that added stress that you're just trying to get stuff together, get stuff to, like, move yeah, here, go there, cook set up this, cook that, and then you're just tired of that. Cameras and lights, and make sure the camera's right, and it's still not right, because I'm, like, a little dark, uh, whatever. But, <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. And, um, we'll be back. Okay. Ow, shit. <laughs> Psych! We're going nowhere! Ah, <laughs> oh, Lauren's jumping around upstairs, so, uh, yeah. That was the end of the video.